Hello, everybody. This is Kate Trashny from Dedicated. I'm at Dremio Subsurface World Tour in New York City with Isha Sharma, product leader at Dremio. How's your day going? It's been great. Turnout's been great. We've got great vibes here and talking about cloud and AI. I know. You guys had some major announcements. Agentic Lake House, oh. Dremio Cloud. Tell us more about that. Yeah. So uh, Dremio Cloud, the Agentic Lake House, uh, we've just released that today. Uh, we've got a trial available for free, and so everybody should actually go ahead and try that. But basically what we're providing here is everything you know of a lake house, but built for the agentic workload, right? Everybody's talking about AI right now, but most people don't know how to get started. And most importantly, they don't know what to do about the governance around that and how to make sure that the performance is what they need it to be for this agent. And so with Dremio Cloud, what you're getting is essentially a built-in catalog that takes care of governance for you with unified data access without having to move your data. And the performance that Dremio is known for uh, using reflections and clustering and optimizations, and all of that happens out of the box for you. So there's no manual like tinkering and tuning and all of that. And what does that do for your agents? that makes them work in, in absolute real time. So me as an analyst, if I'm going and asking a question of my data to the agent, it only accesses the data that I have access to and it performs absolutely in real time. So it's just accelerating everybody's journey to enabling their users uh, to, to take advantage of AI. Well, you know, this is sounding a little bit too good to be true. So I want to ask, is every organization mature enough? Are they, are they ready to have agents querying their lake house? Yeah, I think every uh, organization is, is in a different phase, right? For AI, a lot have come much um, further than some of the others have, but we're seeing a lot of customers and organizations out there ready for that step, right? They've all been sort of playing with AI on their data in a corner individually, and now they're unlocking and standardizing that access for their uh, data engineers for their business analysts and even some of them for their business users. Yeah. So sp speaking speaking of all of the different parts, right? The data analysts, the data scientists, the data engineer, the business users. I want to talk a little bit about the impact. So there was a press release that came out very recently that said this new um, Dremio Cloud Agentic Lake House has the capacity to make data engineers 10 times more productive. 10 times, everyone. That's that's huge. If it took you, you know, an hour to do something, it takes you six minutes now. So tell us, where is that productivity coming from? Yeah, so it's not just about data engineers. It's, you know, anybody who's using AI, right? When we're using AI in our personal lives, you are more productive, right? I can pack a lot faster. I can pick a restaurant a lot faster. There's so many things that happen. Instead of me sitting there for an hour, it happens within seconds, right? And so much like that, when we're working with data, a data engineer or even a data analyst that has that core skill set already, they have that domain knowledge with AI, they're pretty much talking about that in, in natural language. And the agent is accelerating their productivity, right? It's taking the context they know and the context that's embedded in the data and just ha reducing the amount of time that somebody has to manually do research for or spend time, you know, writing SQL, correcting that SQL. So you're spending a lot less time on tedious tasks because you've got like, you've pretty much got an expert by your side. An expert that you still sort of need to manage, right? Absolutely. It's not magic at all, right? Uh, we're, we're kind of, a lot of people have gone to AI and said, you know, take over the world for me. That's not necessarily going to happen, but yeah, you definitely have to, you know, question the the agent and uh, it's like talking to a colleague right you're not gonna believe everything they say and if you're kind of skeptical about it you're gonna have that discussion you're gonna have that conversation and say you know where did you get this response from yeah right and so making sure that you're checking in on your your AI agent uh, and again using that context and building that context for the AI agent is extremely important and a uh, quick question on large language models or just models that you're able to leverage. Is this kind of like bring your own model? Do you use ChatGPT yeah. or? So in Dremio Cloud, we have a default built-in model. 
And so when you uh, first sign up to Dremio Cloud, there's nothing for you to do. There's already a model there to help you out and you can start asking questions immediately. Now, if you'd like to bring your own uh, OpenAI or Gemini, Open, uh, Azure OpenAI, you know, even Bedrock models, you can do that as well. So you just connect in your account and we would then route your, um, your prompts to the model of your choice. Well, if there's nothing for me to do, so then do I just sit back and, you know? You know what? You really can. I mean, with Romeo Cloud and, and the uh, AI agents and even other agentic uh, features that we've added, we're seeing even ourselves, like at Dromeo, we've been using these features and our CEO, CMO, and, you know, CTO have plenty of time to do other things because, like, their responses and their KPIs on data are just coming back so fast for them. Well, what, the roles are not actually going away, right? So data engineers, data analysts, data scientists, they're just being reorganized or... It, it's not even reorganized, right? AI isn't about, um, I, I would say, I know it's uh, it's been talked about a lot, right? Where, well, jobs are going away and we don't need these people anymore, which is kind of ridiculous. I think AI is more really about making somebody who's got a skill set more productive. Yeah. So if I'm a really great data engineer, I just got, we talked about this, right? We got 10 times better, yes. um, 10 times faster, I would say. So it's not about getting rid of jobs. It's just about allowing you to do a lot more with your time. Mm -hmm. Well, I think going back to your prior example, where we personally use ChatGPT and AI to find the best, I don't know, yogurt muffin recipe quickly. We're not being eliminated. We're just doing our thing quicker. Yeah, where I could be sitting there searching Google for maybe three or four hours and going, okay, this is rated a four. That one's a 4.2. Um, which one do I choose, right? right? Well, this one has 5,000 reviews and this one has 1,000. You're like sitting there doing so much math, right? Uh, especially if you're an indecisive or like, you know, you depend on people's reviews for this type of stuff. With AI, it'll figure it out for you, right? It's doing the same type of calculation. It's just doing it for you yeah. um, based on really what you're looking for, right? Exactly. And where can my audience go to actually try this for free? You mentioned that in the beginning. Yeah, so we've got a Dremio Cloud trial that gives you 400 credits for 30 days. And so you can go to dremio.com slash get started to go ahead and sign up and try that out. Great. And last question for you is who is your favorite mascot? Gnarly, of course. I love it. Awesome. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you.